Hello everybody, this is Dr. Jennifer Taylor and welcome to today's Qualtrics tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the look and feel. So how do you brand your survey? So I'm gonna get started by sharing my screen. All right, so I have a survey here. It's my tutorial survey that I've been using for the past couple of videos. And now I'm all done with it. And the question is, how do I brand it? So I go over here to this little paint roller thing and I click on look and feel. So I click on that. It's gonna allow me to change the theme. I can put backgrounds. Well, they have several options. I prefer the blank. I just think it's easier on the eyes for the respondents and it helps them move through the survey better. Um, so that's the theme I'm going to pick for mine today. Um, layouts. You can do different layouts. Um, simple is in beta right now, but it's supposed to be the best for mobile and for people with um, who are using uh, different accessibility platforms. So I'm gonna choose simple, but they do have these different um, layouts that you can use. All right, so I'm gonna to go to simple. We have general look and feel, so you can change the buttons. Maybe you have a, your own button or you have a uh, text that you'd like to use. Um, we can include a progress bar. Progress bars are recommended. It helps the respondent understand how much more they have to do. So we can do it with text. As you see, it adds the, the percentage <coughs> completion without text. It's just the bar uh, with verbose text. So it tells them survey completion. Uh, I'm going to do it with the verbose text just so that people know what that little bar is for. I can put it at the top or on the bottom. I prefer the bottom. It doesn't really matter what you choose. Questions per page, the header of the survey, um, and any footers that you might want to include. I'm not gonna include anything today. Uh, you can change the primary colors. You can change the secondary colors. You can change the fonts. Uh, you can change contrast. So as you can see, the font color changed a bit. So now it's high contrast. So I'm gonna put it back to low. Um, the question spacing, you can make it extended. You can make it more compact. <coughs> I'm just gonna put it on comfortable. Uh, the text size, the answer text size, you can change all of that. Um, if you go to motion, you can have your answer slide in or they can fade in or they can flip. So, um, by, uh, I'm just pretty simple. So I'm gonna keep it to none and I'll just skip. You can do autofocus. Again, that was where it kind of pops in. Auto advance on questions. I'm not gonna use either one of those. All right, logo. So if you have a logo, um, and so I have our College of Business logo, I could add that in. Um, it could be floating, it could be a banner, so we could put it in a banner. We could just have it floating. We could have it left. We could have it centered. We could have it on the right hand side. And then we could change the height and the scaling. And that will show up on every page of the survey. You can also change the background. I can change the background color to whatever I would like. I prefer white. 
So I'm just gonna keep it to white. You can have, again, change the contrast. Change it to high. I'm gonna put it back to low. And then question containers, are there Connection container on, question container off. Um, so you can add all those. So I am going to, I am done. We've gone through all of them for the uh, look and feel and branding. So I'm gonna hit apply to my survey. I'm gonna go back to the survey. I'm gonna click preview. I'm oh, sorry, that wasn't preview. Click preview. And this is what my survey looks like now. I've got the survey completion bar. I've got my branding. I've got my survey design. I've got the, the backwards and forwards error arrows. Um, and so that is how you manage your look and feel in Qualtrics. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. I'll talk to you later. Bye.